Hi guys, Sagar here. Hope you understood the previous one. Today we have the fourth bit of question 3. We have to draw the graph of the polynomial x square plus 3x minus 4 and we need to find its zeros. So, first to draw the graph, we need to set a scale. I took on x and y axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit. And before plotting the graph, we need to find the values of x and y for which to draw the graph. So I have took the table such that when we add the rows 2, 3 and 4, we get the row 5th one. So what do we get when we add rows 2, 3 and 4? We get x square plus 3x minus 4 which is equal to y. So I am taking values of x from minus 5 till 2. So we can check if we take x equal to minus 5, we get y equal to 6. If x equal to minus 4, we get y value as 0. If x is minus 3, we get y value as minus 4 and so on. If we take x equal to 2, we get y value as 6. So when we plot this all points on the graph sheet, you would get something like this. After setting the scale, see minus 5 comma 6. What is the meaning of minus 5 comma 6? It means that uh, the point is 5 units left to the y axis and 6 units above the x axis. And similarly, minus 4 comma 0 means that it is 4 units left from the y axis and 0 units above the x axis. And similarly, minus 3 comma 4, minus 2 comma minus 6, minus 1 comma minus 6, 0 comma 4, 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 6. And to plot the graph, we just need to join all them just by using our bare hand without lifting our pen. So when we join all the points, we get something graph like this. On the right hand top side, we read the scale on x and y axis, 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. On left top, we write the graph, which is y is equal to x square minus 3x, sorry, x square plus 3x minus 4. And on the right bottom, we write the zeros of the polynomial. So what is the meaning of zeros? The graph, sorry, the value of x for which the value of y is equal to 0. What is y, y value here? y is equal to x square plus 3x minus 4. So, so the values of x for which y is equal to 0 are is called the zeros of the polynomial. So we can clearly see that for values x is equal to minus 4 and 1, we get y is equal to zeros. So minus 4 and 1 are the zeros. Since they told to justify our answer, we need to do verification. So for that, if we can see here, we need to, so to find zeros, let us factor as the polynomial x square plus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. So we write the constant term. Uh, if we add the multiples of constant term, we need to get the middle term that is the coefficient of x. So we have multiples of minus 4 as 1 minus 4 minus 4, 4, sorry, minus 1 into 4. 2 into minus 2 and minus 2 into 2. But when we add those multiples, we need to get 3. So when we add 4 and minus 1, we would get 3. So we would write 3 as 3x as minus x plus 4x. So in the first two terms, we take x common. In the last two terms, we take 4 common. And now we take x minus 1 common. So we get x plus 4 into x minus 1 equal to 0. We know that when two numbers multiply to get 0, either of them should be 0. So we have x plus 4 equal to 0 or x minus 1 equal to 0. So x equal to minus 4 or x equal to 1. So as they asked, we drew the polynomial of x square x square plus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. And to just for answers, we found the zeros by factorizing the polynomial. On the graph sheet, on the left side of the in the graph book, we do everything in pencil. We draw the graph with pencil. We write y is equal to x square minus 3x plus 4. On the left hand side, on the right hand side, we write our above scale and below the zeros of the polynomial. And on the right hand side of the graph, right hand side of the graph uh, sheet, graph book, we write uh, table, verification, and lastly, steps. Steps I uh, wrote down in the description. You can check it out from there. Hope you understood the question. Thank you. Subscribe for more such content. Bye.